the road. It's the backyard ultra weekend in Northern Ireland, first of the Four Nations trophy, representing Scotland. Quite nervous actually. Big difference between running for yourself. Just stoking around a, a trail, try to do as best you can, but I'm part of our team. Not just any old team, some of these runners are incredible. So I've got big shoes to fill when it comes to doing myself justice. Um, so yeah, I feel a little bit nervous. We'll just see how it goes. So I'm just driving to Whitburn just now, uh, going to leave the car and a guy, uh, Martin, is going to drive us across to Cumbernauld, get the money bus, get, well then we're all going to drive across to Ireland on the ferry. Um, I'm actually really looking forward to hearing about everybody else in the team and their experiences, how they have um, prepared and just how, how good a runner they are and just I hope to learn a lot for this weekend learn a lot so it's as much about that as it is trying to do my best the minimum is 24 hours this time minimum 24 hours it's not even an option to do any less um, it's, it's tough in terms of working out exactly how fit I am because it's only the 11th of February you're not usually kind of in top shape this time of year, you're just starting to kind of prepare for the rest of the year. Um, so that in itself, not quite sure how, um, just how fit I am. Um, I've done a few runs, I've done loads on the spin bike, which is something I've never done in the past. So I'm hoping that that'll set me in good stead. And we'll, um, we've just got to stay positive, hope for the best. And most importantly, do myself justice and uh, hopefully represent a country um, as best I can. So come on, Scotland! Here we are, it's 10 a.m. Saturday morning, 12th of February. Last man standing. First event of the year. So where are we? Castle Ward. Have a look around this place. <coughs> Main area. Burger van. I don't know what the route is yet, but it's like a big National Trust area here, so could be anywhere around here. Who knows? Come on, it's Scotland! Oh, the magic happens. Alright, GoPro's out. <laughs> Pretty cramped. <laughs> Not a lot of room. Let's hear it from Scotland! Woo! Oh, sorry. So 20 seconds, folks. <laughs> Ten seconds. Five, four, three, two, one.
And that was me. See that sorry figure on the sideline there? Got to 24 loops. And it was a journey and a half to get there. After 22 loops, I actually had quit. Got to the finish line and I thought, you know what, that's that's a record for me. That's the most I've done. I'm absolutely spent. So I'd uh, essentially said to the guys around me, that's me done. I'm happy. And with 30 seconds to go, I just completely came to my senses. I was like, what are you doing? 22, you've only got two more loops to 24. It's quite an elite group of people, albeit that list is growing all the time, but to get to 100 miles is a big thing. And it wasn't actually until uh, I looked at the stats a couple of days ago that I realised just how much harder that one was than the one in Leeds. The, the route, there was so much more climbing involved. The, the total ascent from the, the Leeds backyard in November was just over 3,000 feet. Which is, I guess, a fair amount. That's Munro height over 21 hours. But this one was 9,000 feet. The total elevation in 24 hours. Well, that's a massive difference. That's the equivalent of climbing an extra two Munros on top of what I managed in the Leeds one. So um, I think it's an indication of not only experience, but I think my fitness is actually okay and it's improved since November. I got to be satisfied, I got to 24, I did the 100 miles and all round it was a good effort, team effort, can't argue with that at all, I think we all did pretty well as, as a collective unit, four of us got to the 100 miles, I've absolutely no doubt in my mind that, that more will we'll reach 100 miles next time, I've got to hope that that's the case for me and then just keep pushing on for more and more, that experience was invaluable and uh, roll on Northumberland, April 16th.